Delegates and leaders from Egypt Armed Forces Middle Eastern and African countries were briefed by Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited on the Danush gun and other products. The Indian Air Force has announced that it has equipped its air bases with both hard kill and soft kill counter drone systems, laser based systems and high powered microwaves to disable drones remotely. India and the United States have signed an agreement for an Indian astronaut to travel to the International Space Station on a two-week mission in 2024, aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule. Tato Advanced Systems has announced that it is looking for skilled and experienced technicians to join its C-295 final assembly line in Gujarat. Indian Army's T-90 tanks was spotted with cope cages during an exercise conducted by the Western Command, that offers an additional layer of protection against loitering munitions. The central government has sanctioned 625 crore rupees for the construction of a strategically important road in Shiyomi district of Arunachal. Poland-based Advanced Protection Systems has offered India its Sky Control Anti-Drone System, that can detect even low-flying drones and aerial objects like paragliders at a range of 5 km and an altitude of 3 km. The feasibility studies have been conducted to ensure the seamless integration of UAE's Altaric precision guided missiles with India's Tejas aircraft, and as per latest information, the trials of the Altaric weapons will be conducted in the first half of 2024. India's keenness to integrate the Altaric weapons is driven by its desire to position the Tejas as a more attractive option for potential buyers in the Middle Eastern and African markets, where the UAE has considerable influence. The DRDO and Hindustan Aeronautics are collaborating to finalize the configuration of the new gallium nitrite-based ASA radar, that will be developed under Project Virupaksa for the Super Shukhoi program. The initial feasibility studies resulted in the conceptualization of two or three configurations for the radar, and the Indian Air Force has approved one of these configurations for further development. The final configuration of the radar will determine the number of transmit-receive modules required, after which a private firm will develop two units of the new radar, that will undergo testing on two Su-30 flying test beds, before full-scale production commences after 2025. Ahead of the delivery of first stages Mark 1A aircraft to the Indian Air Force in February 2024, the Indian Air Force is planning to raise the first squadron of the Tejas Mark 1A fighter squadron at Nal in Rajasthan near the Pakistan front. Hindustan Aeronautics is ramping up fighter production, and is aiming to achieve a rate of 24 fighters per year from 2025 onwards. The Aeronautical Development Establishment is collaborating with private sector companies to achieve 200 kg weight reduction on the Tapas drone, and integrate an upgraded engine, as well as efforts to reduce drag, that is expected to meet the operational requirements of the Indian Tri-Services. Today's Top 3 Comments 